A 54-year-old woman who was receiving treatment at Ward 47 of the Colombo National Hospital passed away yesterday. Her PCR test report returned this morning, confirming that she had been COVID-19 positive. The deceased was a resident in the area of Kesilvatta in Colombo and suffered from diabetes. Her last rites were performed at the Borella Public Cemetery this afternoon. She became the 20th person to succumb to COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. The last seven coronavirus-related deaths were reported within a span of just 10 days. Meanwhile, speaking to First at Nine Director of the Medical Research Institute, Dr. Jairuan Bandara said that random testing will continue in order to assist the speedy detection of COVID-19 cases across the country. Ministry of Health has implemented many criteria and many activities to find out new cases in the society. So one parameter is to look for random sampling in each and every places where we suspect COVID infection. So it is very important and still we are continuing and we have not stopped random sampling in this country. That is most important because we are doing random sampling to detect cases everywhere if it is spread. So that is very important and we are continuing that. In the meantime, 633 COVID-19 infections were identified in the country yesterday. Of these, 495 are associates of previously identified infected persons and the remaining 138 are from quarantine centres. From the 633 infections identified yesterday, 264 are identified from the Gampaha district, 162 from the Colombo district, 18 from the Kalutara district and 17 from the Kurunagala district. Further, 11 infections were reported from the Kegol district, 5 from the district of Ratnapura, 4 from Gaul, while 3 each were recorded from the districts of Kandy and Matale, with 2 being confirmed from Ampara. Meanwhile, 1 infection each was confirmed from Matara, Hambantota and Badula districts. As of yesterday, 26 days after the outbreak at the Minuangoda Apparel Factory, COVID-19 cases are reported in all the districts of the country except in Kilinochi. Among them, Gampaha and Colombo districts account for the highest number of cases. The districts of Kalutara, Kurunagala, Putlam, Gaul, Kegol, Kandy, Ratnapura and Anuradhapura are also showing a rapid increase in the number of infected persons. In the meantime, PCR tests conducted in relation to the Beruwala Fisheries Harbour last Thursday led to 30 people being confirmed with COVID-19. One of them had ventured out to sea for fishing before his PCR test result had returned. However, measures were taken to bring him back ashore. In Vattala, 75 people from its MOH division tested positive for the virus and steps were taken to refer them to treatment centres. Majority of those infections are employees of a private factory in Keravalapitiya and as such, the factory in question was temporarily closed. Around 1,000 persons are employed at the said factory. Elsewhere in Horana, an employee of a prominent apparel factory was confirmed with COVID-19. A resident of Bulat Singh Halashi had tested positive for the virus following random PCR tests conducted on 20 employees of the same factory, which employs around 6,000 people. The factory, however, was temporarily closed later. Meanwhile, the public health inspector in charge of Dompe today confirmed that two employees of a garment factory in the area were infected with the coronavirus. The diagnosis was made following voluntary PCR tests. Accordingly, the garment factory, which provides a living to around 1,900 people, was temporarily closed, while associates of the infected were referred for PCR tests. In Bulat Kohupitiya, 11 persons have tested positive for the virus after PCR tests were performed on 30 people. Seven of them are fishmongers and the other four are associates of a previously infected fishmonger. In the meantime, six COVID-19 infected persons associated with the Paliagoda Fish Market Cluster were identified from the Sita Avaka Urban Council jurisdiction in Avisavella. They are residents of Puakpitiya, Galapitamada and Avisavella. Meanwhile, 15 cases of infection were reported from the Hangwella MOH division and six of them are associates of the Paliagoda cluster. The remaining nine are residents of Miriswatta, Aswatta, Hingurala and Vagavatta. In a separate case, a final year student of the University of Sri Javardhanapura residing in the area of Uda Del Tota in Kandy has contracted the virus. The student had last visited the university on the 5th of October and had taken medicines from several hospitals due to health complications. She was diagnosed with the virus following a PCR test conducted on the 23rd. A relative of the infected student who had come into direct contact with her was also diagnosed with the virus. 
In Borella, seven police officers from the area tested positive for the virus after PCR tests were conducted on 13 police officers. In addition, an officer of the Foreshore Police and two officers of the Colombo Crimes Division were also diagnosed with the virus yesterday. With that, the number of COVID-19 infected police officers has risen to 78. As at 4 o'clock today, from the 4th of October, to date, 78 police officers have been found as COVID positive cases. And in addition to that, approximately 300 police officers have been sent to quarantine centers and 2,000 police officers have been instructed to be at their barracks and respective camps to follow self-quarantine procedures. However, a special mechanism is being implemented in the police organization in order to prevent spreading of COVID-19 and we have arranged and prepared a special standby teams to deal with the issue. However, the service rendered by the police is continued with new officers. We have additional strengths in order to deploy at police stations to deal with day-to-day -day police duties and services. In another development, a fishmonger residing in the area of Kahapola in Piliandala says that he has not been referred for treatment, despite being diagnosed with COVID-19 four days ago. His residence is surrounded by three other residences with seven children and his infection was confirmed following a voluntary PCR test. The Government Medical Officers Association in the meantime calls for additional power to be granted at district level to medical health officers so that containment action could be expedited. Gampaha Palavin Rogi Amatula, Samasa Gampa, district Mohan, or Swissigana Gia. There was Swissigana from Madi, or a sonal lockdown ticket of which the Wasgan from Madi take a time, district and make a way up the grand, somehow we allowed up to sit the way. District Matamati Ambalatal from Mana then, the district commutual day Ambalatal from Mana then, Tamangi Saukio in the Arikarali, Rogi Kamuthe, Pradesh, Udakalakiri, Matulu, Piavali, Samandi, Yambalatal from Mania, Saukio in the Dari, or the Din, over Kolami the PCR Gala, Matari and Nipa, it was Pratipalan of Mata. In a separate development, the Government Medical Officers Association alleges that the Ministry of Health has failed to provide state hospitals with adequate facilities to conduct PCR tests in the backdrop of rising infections. Pasangat roge vidyaanshe penala dene vidhira lakshya kwat mevilaave viral transport medium meke apigao tino. Amad mevo hote na vada tapile pena dina visi pan dahak vidhira pramana tamay tino kela kian. Utar apida kina mulleria aur rohale mevo na vada PCR machine ka kriya virahita tatter baatla. E vage ma e mar rohala tuladi ma ya ma karega da PCR parikshena palos dahak pamana karna dibi cha khattala khali kuttela dina. Tamara paudgal ke rohala vala on dina kada parikshena ikdas desiya kitra garna. Utar apay ya aeta na visi hatra khattula. अपने बैरियर आती हैं ना दाह दाह कर गाने ये तो एक डेढ़ हेतु मकाद है दिवाके में खराब पीड़ित रोग हले में लाभ देना सैंपल संख्या और कर गाना आवश्यक है ना ये तो तलब आहासु का हम नले बिया में गेट लो आती है ना फिर तुम दबास पाहक पारक पुना पीसीआर परीक्षण एक लेबे ना एक न ऐतरम राते मीटर दब to date, 10,561 persons have tested positive for COVID-19 in Sri Lanka, with 6,142 persons still under treatment. 4,399 coronavirus patients in total have fully recovered from the virus since its first outbreak back in March. The number of total COVID patients in this country is over 10,000. This is a remarkable indication. There is no information about a successful vaccination or a medication. So, we have to adapt to live with this COVID-19 infection. No one can predict the future of this infection. So, you have to keep that in your mind and use all the protective measures. Leave Ayush. Karabuneti Dantale Paya. Shakti Mat Dattipalakata.